Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is a Garden Smart video produced by the North Shore Recycling Program. By the end of this video, you will understand how composting works, how to prevent problems, and how to create natural fertilizer for your garden. The work of composting is done by bacteria. All we need to do is create an environment where bacteria will thrive, give them what they need, and they'll do the work for us. Bacteria need three things. They need food, air, and moisture. Bacteria's food is an equal mix of green, fresh nitrogen material and brown, carbon-rich material, or material that has been dead for a while. Green material can be things like fresh kitchen scraps, as well as fresh yard trimmings. Brown material can be things like fallen leaves, as well as low-quality household papers. For more details on carbon sources and amounts, view our video on carbon. Now the way we add this equal amount of green and brown material to our compost bin is also very important. Thin layers or a mix of materials works best. The second thing bacteria need is air or oxygen. Even though we've added materials to the bin and they're nice and fluffy, over time gravity pushes these materials down and pushes the oxygen out. All we need to do is on a regular basis fluff out the materials to make sure the bacteria have the oxygen they need. A tool called a wing digger works well for this, or a straight strong stick can also be used to punch holes to the bottom of the bin. The last thing bacteria need is moisture. Like us, bacteria need water to survive. For the most part, the fresh material you're adding to your bin will maintain the right moisture level. It should be like a damp, wrung out sponge. Perhaps in the hot, dry summer, you may need to add some water to your bin to maintain this level. Ensuring bacteria have access to this equal amount of green and brown material, air and moisture will prevent problems and help you create a healthy, natural fertilizer for your garden. For more information, visit our website.